If you're too busy to watch hours of Zettelkasten and Obsidian videos, you are in the right place. We're going to skip all the fluff, and by the end of this video, you will have a functioning Zettelkasten and a clear understanding of the core concepts. Let's get into it without wasting time. What's Zettelkasten? Zettelkasten is a note-taking method built on atomic and interconnected notes. Zettelkasten is not just a note-taking system, it's a system for thinking. The word Zettelkasten means slipbox in German, and it was originally invented by a sociologist, Nicholas Luhmann. He wrote over 70 books using this method. We can definitely say that Luhmann was a hyperproductive individual, and he himself credited his success to his slipbox method. The core idea is simple. Every note should contain one idea that's called atomic note, and it should be written in your own words and connected to similar ideas. Instead of dumping information into folders that get forgotten, Zettelkasten turns your notes into a web of thoughts that grow over time. You don't just store information, you generate new ideas with the help of connections. The more links between your ideas, the more insights you create. Unlike other note-taking methods, Zettelkasten is not a static archive. It's a constantly evolving network of ideas. If you have ever used something like Notion or Apple Notes, you have probably noticed that with time your notes start to feel useless. They're usually completely isolated from each other, long and unusable. Complicated folder structures makes it much harder to access and find old notes, which turns the whole system into an archive instead of a thinking partner. Zettelkasten solves that problem perfectly, but of course you need a good app to make this system work. Obsidian is one of the best tools for building a digital Zettelkasten. It's completely free, it uses plain markdown, and stores everything locally, so your notes are private, offline, and fully in your control. It's minimal, fast, and designed for focused thinking without distractions. Obsidian's backlinks aren't just fancy features, they reveal the hidden architecture of your second brain. The graph view lets you see your entire note-taking system, making patterns and gaps obvious. Because it's marked down, your notes are future-proof. You own your data in a universal format. You're not stuck in one app, and you can easily export all of your notes in a matter of seconds. You can get the app by visiting their website obsidian.md and downloading it for free. But what about the setup? Do you need to create hundreds of folders and organize your notes for hours? Actually, you don't. You only need three types of folders. To have a Zettelkasten in Obsidian, you will need to create three folders. Each folder represents a different type of note. The first type is fleeting notes. Fleeting notes are the unfiltered thoughts that pop into your mind throughout the day. Random ideas, insights, thoughts, anything that doesn't yet have shape or structure. Don't aim for perfection here. It's completely okay if your fleeting notes feel rough and chaotic. The goal is to empty your mind, externalize ideas, and free up mental space. Fleeting notes aren't meant to be polished or permanent. They exist so you can revisit them and process them later. You don't have to think about connections at this stage. Fleeting notes folder exists so you can brain dump all of your ideas without filters and overthinking. Additionally, you don't have to call them fleeting notes. Some people call it an inbox because that's exactly what it is. Don't overthink it and dump all of your ideas in this folder. Reference notes is the folder where everything you consume goes. Books, podcasts, articles, YouTube videos, quotes, and even movies. Anything you didn't create but find valuable enough to keep. Reference notes are not supposed to be atomic, so it's fine if they're a bit longer. You can even cheat here and there and use copy-paste. You don't have to write in your own words all the time. If you need to keep the accuracy of the original source, don't hesitate to copy things as they are. Remember, reference notes are not original thinking, but they are the raw material for it. You will return to them later to form your own insights, so store them with intention. Don't capture everything that you see. Try to only capture information that is relevant to your personality and interests. Cluttering your vault with irrelevant ideas will not serve you in the long run. 
You can also call this folder source notes. I used to do that in the past. Permanent notes folder is where your original thinking lives. This is the part of Zettelkasten that actually matters. It's not just storage, it's creation. Think of it as a growing collection of ideas, insights and arguments. It's a canvas where you finally stop collecting and start producing. Those files are written in your own words. No summaries and no paraphrasing from books. Only your understanding. In this folder, you're not copying knowledge, you're transforming it. Every node should contain one idea and it should be clearly expressed and linked to others. You don't write permanent notes to remember, you write them to think. These are the kind of notes that can stand on their own. You could publish them as tweets, turn them into essays, scripts or chapters of a book. These are your ideas, polished, independent and ready to connect. You can think of permanent notes as a writer's notebook or an artist's sketchbook. It's a safe place to think, to form your ideas, arguments and opinions. It's a place where your voice starts to sound like your own. Atomic note is not a separate folder, nor is it a note type. Atomic note is the format of your notes. Every permanent note should be atomic, which basically means that it should be short and to the point. Remember that simple formula, one idea, one note. That's the entire philosophy behind atomic notes. Keep them short, sharp and to the point. Don't ramble and don't write walls of text. My personal rule of thumb is to keep these notes under 250, 300 words. If you find yourself scrolling, you've probably written too much. The reason they're so short is that each note captures a single idea. That's what makes them powerful. It's much easier to connect focused ideas to each other than it is to connect a chaotic mess of unrelated thoughts. And when your notes are clean and atomic, you don't waste time when revisiting. You can grasp the essence of a note in a matter of seconds. Always write in your own words. Don't just copy paste. Rewriting helps you understand. If you can explain something clearly and simply, that means you actually get it. And that's exactly the point. Now that we've covered the theory, let's ground it in practice and show how it actually works. Workflow in Zettelkasten goes something like this. Fleeting notes and reference notes are inputs. Permanent notes are outputs. They are ideas and insights that were sparked by fleeting and reference notes. Let me give you a tangible example. You see a social media post quoting Atomic Habits. You quickly take a fleeting note. You decide to read Atomic Habits and create a reference note titled Atomic Habits by James Clear. You summarize the book, highlight key quotes and add your personal reactions. As you read and reflect, you distill your insights into permanent notes. Remember, one idea equals one note, always in your own words. This step-by-step -step process transforms scattered thoughts into a lasting, connected network of ideas in your Zettelkasten. Connections are what set Zettelkasten apart from other note-taking systems. Without them, your notes become a forgotten archive of isolated ideas. Always link your notes to one another. Use footnotes or inline links to show relationships, cite sources or add context. Connections are not just for organization, they act as fuel, sparking new insights you wouldn't uncover by reading notes in isolation. Now let's talk about common mistakes and great tips that you can implement to make your saddle casting journey simpler and easier. It might be tempting to load up Obsidian with every shiny plugin you see, but please don't. It's just another way to procrastinate. Use the bare minimum. Keep your world clean, fast and destruction free. Always create connections. A saddle casting without links is just a digital graveyard of isolated notes. Connections are what brings your ideas to life. Without them, you miss the point entirely. Avoid the folder obsession. Traditional note taking loves folders. Zettelkasten, however, doesn't need them. It's more flexible. Using tags, backlinks and search is far more powerful. It might feel chaotic at first, but with time, that mess becomes a living system. Organize as little as possible. You can have an additional folder where you can store things that don't fit. There will always be notes that will feel like they don't fit in any category. 
That's why you need this catch all folder. You can call it anything you want. I call mine unsorted. Hopefully this video helped you to finally start your saddle casting journey. If you'd like to see how my system works and learn about saddle casting in detail, you can watch this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.